Hi guys, this is Tony. Today's shout out is on an RBTA, also known as the Rose Boba Tip Anemone. It's also a family of the green Boba Tip Anemone. This anemone comes in all different colors, from red to orange to light pink, depending on your lighting system. The care level for this RBTA is from beginner to very moderate level. They come from Fuji in Indonesia. The placement for these RBTAs is very important also. When it gets the right amount of flow and the right amount of lighting, the RBTA is very happy as you can see. The tips can also vary in different part of your tank and lighting from bubble tip like this to a long thin one which you're going to see in my other side of the tank. These RPTA requires feeding once in a while either silver size or occasional fish food. Sometimes you have Nemo which bring the food to these RPTA and which feed it by the mouth. As you can see right here this RPTA has been fed and is shriveling up. This is a normal sign when you are feeding your RPTA so don't freak out. The rose anemone also known to split themselves and turn little clones version of themselves in a very good tank. So this is why I have quite a few of them in my little tank. Also this is what it looks like on top down. So you can see is very very colorful in nature. This one right here is going to be a picture of a silver side fish that you're going to feed them. You don't have to feed the whole thing. I break them in half or in thirds to make it fit the mouth of the RBTA. After you feed it its food, the RBTA will shrivel up and it'll be okay. Clownfish will always like to play with it when it has food in it, but it's just a natural sign guy. Having your clownfish host the RPTA is actually very hard and difficult for some people. But don't give up guys. This is what I use to get my clown to host my anemone. I put the fish food near the rose bubble tip anemone so the clownfish will be near it and be secure. And eventually my clownfish will actually get into it and start playing with it. It took a long process but it should be done. So no worries guys. The key to having a clown host the anemone is actually good. So the clown will sometimes grab the food and bring the food to the anemone and feed it. Kind of like it's taking care of its own house. So sometimes it's good to have a clown to host an anemone guy. I hope you guys enjoy this video on RBTA. If there's any questions feel free to ask and subscribe. Thank you. Welcome new subscribers and this is Tony and I am out.